Hello my friends and welcome to my channel, this is Austrian Stacker. I recently said in one of my videos that I always try to buy the cheapest gold and some of you ask me how I keep an overview about actually what is the cheapest gold and this is what I want to show you in this video. Thank you for watching my video, I truly appreciate it and if you haven't already done so, please be so kind and consider subscribing to my channel. It won't cost you anything and it will make me very happy before Christmas, so thank you very much for your support. So I wish all of you who celebrated a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and please stay safe and healthy and I hope to see you again next year. So as said, I always say that I'm or I'm always trying to buy the cheapest code I can get on the market. And some of you ask me how I'm doing this and if I can, if I have some tips for them. So this is why I want to share my Excel sheet. Actually, everything I'm doing is based on Excel. Yeah? So my whole life is based on Excel. I actually have an Excel sheet for everything. Yeah? For uh, the debts I have to pay off, for uh, my fixed costs, my everything. Yeah. I've, for everything I have an Excel sheet also for gold price and it's actually not difficult so it's very easy and if you want I can send it to you just shoot me an email and I can send it to you so actually what I'm doing in this in this Excel sheet is um, I have one row where I enter the prices so what I'm actually doing is for example I go to Austrian Mint's homepage I check how much is a tenth of an ounce coin and here I can see the Philharmonic. I mean, I also check some other home pages of precious metal dealers and I check their prices and then I enter the cheapest price I can find in my Excel sheet. In that case, it's 213.68. So let's add here. So as you can see, I found a cheaper one today, 213, but it doesn't matter, 213.68. And in that case, the formula is very easy because a tenth ounce, you just need to multiplied by 10 and then you have the price what this would mean in the price for a full ounce it's a bit more difficult if for example have a sovereign because a sovereign has 7.32 grams so what i do is i put in the price here and then this is automatically calculated so it's divided by 7.32 grams to get the price per gram because this is the weight of a sovereign and then it's multiplied with 31.1034768 this is the conversion rate between grams and ounces the one ounce actually has 31 point blah 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 grams and so it automatically calculates the price per ounce and then you can put in a conditional formatting and say uh, market from the most expensive to the cheapest from red to dark green and then you automatically know the darkest green you can find here is the cheapest price so i put in for example in that case i have in um 10 ounce coins uh i always put in the, the the cheapest price i could find for a 10 ounce coins coin and then a quarter ounce half ounce uh two cuts as you can see two cuts have 3.44 grams fine so it calculates how much would this be if you buy one ounce or what would the value of one ounce be um, based on a ducat. Um, sovereigns um, with 7.32 grams, a Babenberger coin with 12.15 grams and so on. And as you can see, bullion is usually never the cheapest. What's surprising is that usually ducats are relatively cheap, uh, but not nowadays. <laughs> so what's the cheapest option at the moment is actually gold bars and the cheapest coin you can get the cheapest coins you can get are actually the Babenberger 1000 shilling coin and the sovereign for 1950 and 1925 and as you can see all bullion is actually above 2000 so if you want to buy fractional gold then it's good to go with a sovereign or with a Babenberger coin. Please do not forget this is valid for Austria 
and most probably also for Germany because there I, I also check the prices of the German precious metal dealers frequently, but this might be completely different in the US or in the UK. But I think the principle works everywhere. So I always put in um, the different fractional coins uh, with a uh, coin weights with a purity of four nines fine. And then all the coins with a purity of less than four nines fine, like the Ducats, Sovereigns, Babenberger, and then again the gold bars. And then I always check what is cheapest. And my decision to buy a one ounce gold bar this week was actually also based on this Excel sheet. So this is how I'm doing it. This is how I keep the overview. Please tell me in the comments below what you think about this Excel sheet. And if you want to have it, have it I'm always happy to share. So this is why we are in a community to be able to learn from each other. And I got so much support and Excel sheet and statistics and <laughs> diagrams from other people. So I'm also happy if I at least one time can share something and somebody's interested in what I'm doing or <laughs> using my tools. So that was it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of you. And I hope to see you again next year. Servus.